In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an animation using two different tools. The first one is a web-based tool at www.abcya.com slash animate.htm. ABC YAS Animate tool does not require a login or a user account, but the downside to it is that there is no way to save your animation while you're working on it and come back to it and work on it later. You just sit down in one sitting and do the animation in one sitting. There is an iPad app for Animate that is available for $1.99 in the iTunes store. So if this does seem like an app that you would use and you have access to an iPad or an iPhone, you can purchase this app and then you are able to save your work and come back to it midway through. When you go to the abci.com slash animate.htm page and you scroll down you'll see there is a link to a tutorial. Discover ABC Ya Animate, the best way for kids to make animations on the web. And that tutorial will go through all the basic steps you need to know to be able to use this tool. So after watching this video, if you choose to use this tool, that would be a good next video to watch. Otherwise, you click the Go button, and that will take you to the tool. Now, as you can see, there are a hundred available frames. There are some tools along the right side and along the bottom of your screen. And then in the middle, we'll show you the frame that we're currently working on, which is number one of 100, and it's currently blank. So in this demonstration, I'm going to create a animation that shows how a tree goes through the different seasons. So I'm going to choose a color for my trunk, and I have the pencil tool, so I'm just going to draw a trunk, and then I'm going to use the paintbrush tool, and there are different sizes for my paintbrush, and I can just fill in my trunk. And then I'm going to switch over to the pencil tool, and I'm going to draw some branches. And I'm going to start my tree in the winter. And now I'm going to copy my frame and I'm going to choose some snow to draw on the trunk. And copy my frame again and you can see my timeline at the top here. And now on frame three. So if I wanted to add some snow onto my branches, I could do so. All right, now let's move into spring. So I'm going to have my snow melt Cover over my snow. And then I'm going to start adding some leaves. And with each step, I copy my frame. Now I'm going to draw some bigger leaves.
And I'm going to fill in the rest of my leaves here. Now I'm going to add a little bird nest. Switching back to the pencil. And then this tool has some images loaded in. You can click the image option and choose from a variety of categories. I'm going to choose this little bluebird and put her in the nest. Now I'm going to add some eggs. I'm going to do light blue eggs. And maybe we add another image. Now a tool that you can see um, in ABCI is you can see the previous frame. So if you wanted to start adding some motion, you can click that previous frame tool and adjust whichever object you want to adjust. And now I'm going to come over here and delete these eggs so that I can turn off this previous frame so that I can add baby chicks. And you just continue doing this uh, as you build your animation. And for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and show the animation thus far. So I only have 17 frames in this demonstration. The frame rate is at medium. If I wanted to slow it down, I could certainly do that. And you can see the difference here. or change it to fast. And I can even loop it. The final step is to export it as a GIF. So you click the export as GIF button. You can choose the size file that you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and keep with the full. and it's exporting each frame and then it will allow me to save. So I click the save button, I choose a name you notice that it does have a GIF extension I click save and then if I look at my desktop here is the example and I can view it in a browser that's the example that I just created now if I wanted to I created one uh, from the beginning to the end that I would like to show you with ABC yeah.
So here's the complete idea of a tree going from winter to spring to summer to fall back to winter. Created with ABC Ya. So that's the first tool that you could use to create a simple animation. The next tool is a piece of software that can be downloaded uh, as a demo for a 15-day trial called Animation-ish. And it's produced by a company called Fable Vision. This, web, this website, animationish.com, will go to the Fable Vision Learning website and it will allow you to go to the free demo, also look at sample lessons and activities and all kinds of great things. There are three levels in Animation-ish from easiest to most advanced and the most advanced has the most options. But this is a great software, very user-friendly, um, very good to use in the classroom. There's a link uh, for lessons once you download the software and load it on your computer. It's available for Windows and Mac. And the lessons will bring you back to this animation-ish website and there are 12 lesson videos that'll show you how to use different features in Animation-ish. So I've started a tree graphic in here. Um, the way that I did that is I just went to the advanced-ish level, which is a blank canvas, and I just started drawing. Just like I did in the um, ABC Ya tool. So I'm going to head back to the home and show you the tree that's already been started. So the nice thing about using this software is that it does save your work. So here's the tree that I started, and I really have but about 15 frames. But as you can see, I'm in springtime. And there aren't as many um, images available in this software, um, in the demo version at least. But for the full version, that's about $60. It does come with some images. And you can import images. So if there's an image of a bird or something that you want to use in your animation, you can always import it. So there's a, a big difference here um, between the, the web version, the web tool that I just showed you, and, and the animation-ish software is that the frames have a foreground and a background. So you can actually have two layers going on. Um, you are able to edit the background in the ABC Yaw tool, but it's static as far as I can tell. Um, but in Animation-ish, you can animate the background and the foreground. So I'll just show you this little animation that I've created thus far. And so you can continue to uh, add frames and duplicate the frames just like you can in the ABC Yaw tool by clicking the duplicate frame. So then to share this you export and you can choose an option. I'm going to choose Flash Movie and you can save it. It exports and then you can open it in a browser.